All right. Uh, good afternoon. This is Luke Thomas Holmquist here at the Earthquake Forecast Center, QuakePrediction.com. It's 1.08 in the afternoon on Monday, June 26, 2023. Again, it's 1.08 p.m. in the afternoon on Monday, June 26, 2023. And we have very exciting news. And we will start with the forecast for Japan. We have... Um, Two peaks coming up in Japan, one in Alaska, and uh, two, three significant peaks coming up in California. We're going to get to the first one that's coming up, which is at around uh, on the 27th, June 27th. And that one is, uh, I think it's uh, 6 p.m. on the 27th. Yeah, 6 p.m. on the 27th. And about a 5.0 earthquake is likely near Fukushima, Ibaraki, and Sendai, this region right here, at around 6 p.m. on June 27th. And you can see that peak right here. And then this next peak here is a much larger peak, and that is this map. A 6.0 earthquake is likely either in the area right here, near 95%, where the uh, near Sapporo, and that one should be around 9 p.m. on June 28th or near Miyazaki, one of these two locations, most likely in the area near Sapporo. Again, <clears throat> about a 6.0 earthquake at about 9 p.m. on June 28th, right there near Sapporo or possibly near Miyazaki. In Alaska, we have a spike in risk coming up uh, around seven in the morning on June 29th. And that's the third peak coming up. And that one is here just south of Anchorage. And that one will hit uh, around seven in the morning on June 29th, the strong earthquake there. And we'll have more ideas on the magnitude in a couple of days on that one. And then in California, uh, first we have um, this smaller peak, this very small peak right here, coming up in the morning of uh, two in the morning, uh, tomorrow morning in June 27th. So something significant, maybe a 3.5 or something could hit on that uh, morning of the 27th on this little spike. Very strong spike and miss coming up on June 29th. And that one is in Northwest California. So uh, Possible 6.0 earthquake is, but we'll know more about the magnitude on that in a couple of days as well. But about a 6.0 earthquake is possible uh, around 5 p.m. on June 29th here in Northwest California. And that risk extends from Northwest uh, uh, San Francisco Bay all the way up to uh, Eureka, Petrolia, Ukiah, that area. And then we have the next peak, which is this one which should be a little bit smaller than this earthquake here. So if this was a 6, this should be about a 5.8, but we'll know about the magnitude here in a couple of days on that. And so uh, another strong peak coming up there on about 2 in the morning on July 1st. And that one is more closely uh, closer to the San Francisco Bay than the other one, which one is up here in uh, Northwest California on uh, 5 p.m. on June 29th. And this one will be closer to San Francisco Bay or North Central uh, California. And that one is the <clears throat> little bit lesser earthquake. So if this one is a six, this one will be about a 5.8. We'll, we'll know, know more about that here in the very near future in a couple of days from now. Once again, we have a, a peak coming up on about to 6 p.m. on the 27th, that's this one here. About a 5.0 earthquake is likely near Ibaraki, Fukushima, Sendai there. And then we have the next peak here, this very strong peak here coming up on June 28th at around 9 p.m. And that should hit near Sapporo or possibly near Miyazaki and Kumamoto, Oita area down here in southern Japan, but most likely near Sapporo on this strong peak right there. And then we have other smaller peaks coming up after that. Again, in Alaska, looking for a significant earthquake around 7 a.m. on June 29th, just south of Anchorage. And in California, a strong earthquake 
coming up in Northwest California right there. And uh, we'll know more about the magnitude here coming up. That will be about 5 p.m. on June 29th in Northwest California. And the next one, <clears throat> uh, a little bit smaller than that quake, uh, will be in the San Francisco Bay Area or North Central California. All right. And today is the news bulletin we're putting out. <clears throat> After 18 years of research, <clears throat> excuse me, bear with me in here. <clears throat> All right, breaking news, pivotal moment in history, <clears throat> earthquake monitoring reaches new heights. June 26, 2023, 12.40 p.m. June 26, <clears throat> in a groundbreaking development that will revolutionize our understanding of seismic events, I am announcing a pivotal moment in history today. From this day forward, monitoring earthquakes will take a giant leap forward with the inclusion of precise date, time, location, and magnitude information. This unprecedented advancement comes as a result of tireless efforts of 18 years of research dedicated to improving earthquake detection and measurement technologies by harnessing state-of-the-art monitoring systems and leveraging cutting-edge artificial intelligence. I have unlocked a new era of seismic analysis. The breakthrough means that henceforth, every earthquake occurrence will be accompanied by an accurate timestamp, enabling uh, me to precisely determine when the event took place, or researchers to precisely determine that. Additionally, the exact location of the earthquake will be pinpointed with unprecedented accuracy, providing invaluable information for emergency response teams, urban planners, and vulnerable communities. Equally momentous is the ability to gauge the magnitude of earthquakes more reliably. The magnitude scale traditionally used to quantify the energy released by an earthquake will now be more precise, offering a deeper understanding of the event's potential impact on the affected region. The implications of this seismic advancement are far-reaching. Government disaster response agencies and humanitarian organizations will be better equipped to plan and implement effective strategies to mitigate the damage caused by earthquakes. This new profound, newfound accuracy will save lives, enhance infrastructure resilience, and expedite recovery efforts in earthquake-prone areas. Although challenges lie ahead, with seismic events being highly complex and unpredictable, in the past that is, I am optimistic about the positive implications of this breakthrough. It is anticipated, anticipated that this game-changing development will pave the way for further advancement in earthquake research, fostering a safer and more prepared world for future generations. As we embark on this new era of earthquake monitoring, let us acknowledge the dedication and perseverance of the scientific community whose tireless efforts have made this historic milestone possible. We will continue to bring you the latest updates on this transformative development. Stay tuned for more information as scientists delve deeper into the mysteries of our planet's seismic activities. This is a momentous occasion forever changing the world and the way we comprehend and respond to earthquakes. Thanks again. This is Luke Thomas Holmquist here at the Earthquake Forecast Center, quakeprediction.com. Watch how these earthquakes will hit the uh, designate, designated areas on the previous forecast there, and we will get back to you soon. Thank you.